I'm going to add a cylinder in this way. Shift right click, go to the channel toolbox and then poly cylinder one. And here I'm giving 24 subdivision axis in this way. After that, go to the front view and then scale the cylinder in this way. Now I will add one cube add there. You need to go to the perspective and then scale this cube in this way. Then move this cube add here. You can turn on the wireframe. It's like this. Now go to the edge mode of the cube and then select this edges and then control B and add a bevel on this edges. Then increase the bevel factor up to one and increase the bevel segment to two. Then scale this cube a little bit like this. I can select this cylinder and I can press control one to isolate this cylinder. And now I will go to the top view of the cylinder, then select this faces. Use the extrude faces add there and adjust this offset as like this. And then press control X to delete this faces. Then select this H loop and then select this bottom H loop and then shift right click bridge and then press control one to unhide that object. Now you can select these two objects and use the boolean operation difference and you will get this kind of cutout at there on the model. After that the fact it's very simple we need to create the right topology at here and how we can do that. There is no inner edge. So that's why just go to the front view and then I'm going to use the multi cut tool then select this point and then select this second point shift control and it will create cut and then right click to complete that cut and you can create this kind of cut at there. Then I can select this edge loop and I can control X to dissolve it and here are some words you can see and we need to dissolve this word so just select this words and then control x to dissolve them and now we have got this one each loop at there now simply i will go to the vertex mode i will select this word and then merge words and then here is the target weld tool then select this word and then weld it like this Okay, that's pretty simple. I'm going to use the insert edge loop. Just select this edge loop and use the insert edge loop add there. And then use the relative distance from these edges. And then add one edge loop at here. From inner side also you need to add one edge loop. You can adjust the position of that edge loop little bit. And then you can use the multi cut tool to connect this word. Multi cut tool it's similar to the knife tool in blender now select this whole edge loop and use the scale tool and scale it like this and then you can use your multi cut tool to create this kind of loop structure use the move tool and use the edge slide by pressing the shift key then use the target weld tool and merge the words like this and from the inner side also you can do this. Then you can select all these faces and use the mirror tool. And add loop cut like this. Then you can press 2 key on the keyboard to add smoothness. You press 3 key, you can see the smooth form at there. Just turn off this wireframe and still it looks really well. There are some extra words which we need to dissolve by pressing the control X. So you can select all these extra words which are there and then press control X to dissolve them. So you will get decent looking form at there. This is something it's pretty simple. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, then hit that like button and please subscribe our YouTube channel for more Maya tutorials. Bye bye. So next video, take care. Let's go. Yeah. I'm like an addict, do I gotta have it? I ain't even playing, got a really bad habit. If it moves, gotta grab it. Fuse like a magnet. Lose won't have it till I'm doomed in a casket. I ain't playing, gotta